Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be talking about growing Nepenthes from seeds. So, I just wanted to share with you some of the Nepenthes that I've been growing from seeds. Um, show you some of my techniques that I've been using to get these guys to germinate. Um, and just share what I hear works and what doesn't work for getting these to germinate. So, first thing I will say is... Nepenthe seeds are very variable in the way that um, germination works on these guys. What works for one person doesn't necessarily work for another. There is still a debate going on whether they should germinate in the light or in the dark. Um, completely opposite ends of the scenario and there's still a debate because people can't quite figure it out. Uh, for me, what I will say is I germinate all my Nepenthe seeds exactly where I grow my Nepenthes. So I don't try to do anything special for them. I don't give them extra warmth at night or anything like that. I just put them beside my Nepenthes and when my Nepenthes are growing, these seeds germinate. Um, with that being said, there are many, many factors that actually influence what seeds will germinate and what seeds won't. So it's really hard to know where you're getting your seeds from because they're a tropical plant and you buy them on the internet or from online retailers or that and unfortunately these seeds they spoil very quickly i'm told old seeds don't germinate that fast at all or if they germinate at all fresh seeds tend to germinate faster so that's always good that's always fun you should always try to get as fresh a seeds as you possibly can ones on the internet try to figure out how old they are before you go purchasing them and that um, will definitely help with your success rate. Now with that being said, when you're trying to grow Nepenthes from seeds, just because you have the seeds that um, from the, the parent plant, like these guys here are Tabakia, and these ones here are Flava. So just because they come from a Flava seed pod doesn't mean they're going to be pure Flava plants. You're going to have lots of hybrids in there, lots of variability. So if you're trying to grow Nepenthes to get nice, beautiful, pure species and you're trying from seed, well, unless you um, hand pollinated them yourself or you know someone that has, wild seed is going to be very, very variable. So you really have to grow Nepenthes seeds just for the joy of, in, of growing them as opposed to trying to collect different species from, from them. But to the flavas, they came up fast. Really nice. We'll talk about um, that sort of thing in a moment. I'll show you the, the species that have come up for me. But what else can I tell you? So I like these round Adeli containers. The reason I like them is because before I put the seeds in, I can microwave them and um, sterilize the media. Unlike, and I'm just going to move it, unlike these containers, which I found out the hard way, you put those in the microwave, they turn into a giant puddle. You can't use them in the microwave at all. They just melt. So I love these little containers here. I like them because they're clear. You can see through the sides. They allow lots of light to come in. Um, the media that I use, I generally use a thin layer of moss on top. You can see um, there's some bark on the bottom for drainage and some perlite in there and even some bits of styrofoam for drainage. There's holes in the bottom of these. Uh, before the seeds have actually germinated, I will top water with um, a light spray to continually saturate the soil to make sure they're, they're in good contact with the soil and it just drains out. And I'll do that whenever they're starting to look like they're about to get dry. You never want these guys to dry out at all. Once they've germinated like this, I try to just water around the edges, like around here where there's no seeds, so that I don't put water directly on the little plants anymore, but you still want to keep them moist. If you're not lucky enough to have a greenhouse like I am, you'll probably want to keep the, the top on these guys to keep the humidity really, really high. Um, as for the media on the top, I, it's just sphagnum moss. But what I do is I take a pair of scissors and I cut it up really, really fine. So it is a very fine sphagnum. It gives good surface area, a very flat surface, and good contact with the media for the seeds. I did do some experimenting with... Um, You'll see sort of each side has like a, a dirty end. I put peat moss on half as well as a sphagnum. I can't say that it made any difference to the germination rate at all. So I'm just going to stick with just the sphagnum for now. 
for time frame. Um, these Flava, for example, they were uh, like they grew like gangbuster. I always write on there the day that I planted them and the day they germinated. So July 25th was they were planted. Germination started on September the 6th, and there they are there. So pretty much a 100% success rate on those guys. These little ones here, those are Raja. I have got three so far. You can see the middle one there has actually got some red tint to the leaves because in the wintertime I do have these under lights. So they were planted in August, August 25th by the looks of it, 26th. I reuse these containers. And anyways, first germination was September 22nd. So less than a month before the first one's germinated. And then three germinated and nothing germinated after that. So completely random. These ones are Jamban. They were planted on August 28th. Started germinating September 18th. So again, not, um, not too long. These ones here are Attenboroughii. Let's see if I can find any here. They just started germinating. Let me see. There's one. This is what like a one day old Nepenthes looks like. Right there in the dead center of the screen is a little green fleck. And there's actually another one you can see germinating. It's still in the seed pod coming out. Hopefully I can refocus that close. And it doesn't want to focus because it's so close, but right in the middle of the screen. Funny, a couple um, little um, sundews came up in this one too. They just they got mixed in there from somewhere. But anyways, there's um, a good half a dozen at Burley so far that have come up. So happy with that. Seedlings grow at various rates. You're going to get seedlings that are going to grow really fast, and in a year you're going to have a nice little plant. You're going to have seedlings that grow really slow, and in a year you're going to have like a seedling plant still. It's completely random. These ones here I did not germinate, but they're just a good size to show you. So these are in a four inch pot. So there's four plants in there. Once they get to about that size, then they really start to take off. But until that size, they're kind of slow going. So those ones are some of my successes there. And you'll notice if I, whoops, if I lift you up and don't step on the mic wire, I do have all kinds of seedlings started. There's some there. There's another one over there, and there are some over here. Am I going to have success with them? I don't know. I don't um, have any kind of real secrets for this. These are dubia. They were planted June 21st. Nothing has come up so far. I'm losing hope for those. And yeah, so again, you know, sometimes it's out of your control as to whether they're going to grow or not. Even good seeds, they have. Um, sort of a random germination. You can, I can't hit it for sure every time. You just kind of got to buy the seeds and hope for the best, really. Um, you got about a 50% chance of something germinating. And of that, it seems like if you can get them going, they seem to go pretty good, other than these Rajas here, that there's only three. So, anyways, um, that's about all I can really tell you. You know, if you try this and it doesn't work, don't get discouraged. The fogger just kicked on there. Hold on one sec, I'm just gonna turn that back off. There we go. As I was saying, if you, you try this and it doesn't work, don't get discouraged. Um, my method isn't necessarily the end all be all, it's just what I use. Maybe I could have better success if I was doing it a different way. But um, that's, that's basically what I do, just leave them out with my Nepenthes to, to germinate. Um, I can't say that summer or winter is any better or worse for germinating. Some of these germinated in the in September and others are just starting to germinate now. Um, and others that I planted in June didn't germinate all summer long and they still haven't germinated. So, totally random. I, I don't know that there's any secret to it at all. Not for um, total success, but anyways, I think I'm just rambling now. So. I hope you liked this video. Um, I hope it gave you some ideas. Uh, as to where to start for Nepenthe seeds, um, I get them from a lot of private growers who don't want to necessarily give out their, I don't want to give out their names in that, but um, search around. 
Um, there's a lot of places that sell online seeds and plants and that that will have them. They tend to be older, so you're taking a risk. But um, but yeah, um, if you guys have any tips or tricks that that may help, put them in the comments below. Um, I know my way works well for me, but maybe your tips and tricks tricks will work for other people. And if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks for watching.